Welcome YouTube! Today we're doing... I mean, I just told everyone in the live stream, but we're doing Rat SSP again. Uh, it's gonna be fun. Let's get... Let's just... Let's... Hang on. I gotta fix my, my camera real quick. But then we can hop right into it. Um, There we go. It's fixed. I'm also... Hang on. I think I gotta fix both things. I'm, I, I'm just getting so unlucky lately with the... Uh, with everything breaking. I had one stream where everything just broke, but hang on, if we turn this off, hop into Minecraft, and let me just make sure, yeah, the bottom is working properly. Okay, so let's do some Minecraft, boys. Let's do some Minecraft. I'm excited. I've been, I, I honestly love playing this every week. I feel like some of my other stuff, like Fall Guys, tends to do better, that's for sure. But like, Minecraft is just like, it's the game that I've known since I was like, just a wee lad, just a tiny little child. Is that my fan? I couldn't tell if my fans just turned on or if, <laughs> if it was the rain from the game. Alright, uh, I, I think it is actually the fans. It's okay, they always turn on. I just, I, it's hard with these new headphones, I didn't expect them to be so loud still. But, um, so here's the plan. We want to clear up that patch over there. Because we want to turn that into an iron farm soon. Let's just try to sleep. I feel like we might be able to. Nope. Okay. Um. I think this place was like basically sorted. Uh. I think. Ooh. Don't we normally. Oh no. We got rid of the slabs didn't we? Because for some reason all the crops were like breaking. I don't know why though. I hope they don't again. Because if they do then we got an issue. But um. Yeah. I think since this is like basically sorted, I say we just let that grow. We go break down that entire area because we want to turn that into the iron farm soon because it's about a hundred blocks from here and I think that's good enough. Let's just check in case because I, I, I'm pretty sure that if um like if they're like a hundred blocks apart, it's fine. How far do villagers have to be apart bedrock? I definitely searched this up earlier. 32 blocks from the village center. Is that right? Need to have at least 65 blocks. Okay. So, okay. It feels like such a short dif distance from... Oops. I just hit the screenshot button. Whoops. Uh, it's such a... <laughs> it feels like such a small distance from this pillager outpost to here. But it is, like, enough. So we should be okay. I feel like we should be able to sleep soon. Maybe I should just keep a bed on me. Now that we have sheep, I think we should have some wall around here. Yeah, we do. Let's just keep a bed on us while we're working. Um, I also, I hate that I have two crafting tables. Let's just put a one away. That's been annoying me for a little while. Okay, um, so, yeah, I think let's just get right into building this. Let's keep a little bit of iron on us just because I feel like we'll run out pretty quick. We'll keep like 20 on us just so we can make some pickaxes and stuff. But, um, I'm hoping that, um... I'm hoping we make the iron farm pretty soon. I just, the problem is I can't memorize how to build farms. Like I'm just, I suck at it so much. So as soon as we flatten this terrain, we'll figure it out. And then we'll, I think the next step is there's a village over there. We want to push that a little further away from this guy. And then, um, I think if we build like a, a breeder, a villager breeder, we can just start transporting them from underground to here. Cause we're going to need like 10 of them. So, um, Hopefully we have enough iron to do that though, because I don't know if we have enough rails for that. Alternatively, we just put them in boats. Um, that might be the better play. This was also where our first death happened. Uh, from up here. We tried to make this jump, and well, that's not makeable. I don't know why I attempted that. I just, I looked before I leaked, which I do very often in every game I play ever, so. <sighs> Karma. Karma, boys. But I'm not that pressed about it. Like I said, I, listen, I, I've played my fair share of hardcores. I've gotten pretty far with hardcores. I've never beat the game on solo hardcore just because I just have never beat the game solo in general. Um, I don't know. I always just lose interest before I, I manage to make it to the end fight. Which is why right now I'm not even trying to get to the end fight. I'm just building some farms to make the game easier as we go on. Um, but yeah, I... I I don't know. I Like, I love hardcores. It's just that... I just have such an issue with deleting the world every time because like I get that's the point and I like doing it sometimes But it's also like if I'm streaming I'm basically throwing away everything we just did and I have to reset and every time I die people have to watch an, A whole reset of the world and I don't think that's fun for anyone and So I'm, I'm cool with 
this just being a hard world, if that's just how it's gonna go. Our L for dying, we should have been better, but oh well. See, this time I say we instead of I, because it puts the blame on you guys too. I think we just need a stone, stone one for now. Eventually I'll make some iron tools, but at the moment we don't have enough iron. Like, we went mining for a while and we couldn't find like any iron. To be fair, what I do forget often is with the new caves and cliffs update, there's like, uh, iron is like in, in veins now, right? It's like a, it's like a snake through the caves, like, or through the walls of the caves. It's not like a, um, like how it used to be, it would just be like four to eight iron, like a, a little patch of iron would be there and then you have to look around for another patch. But now it's like, if you dig around where you find a little iron, you might find more. Because it might just snake through. And, like, I'm pretty sure that people found uh, iron patches or iron, like, veins that were, like, giant. Like, thousands of iron blocks. Um, so I think that's one of the issues with why I have so little iron right now. I just keep forgetting that that's a thing that exists. Uh, so I, I think if we... I do want to go mining again. I don't know if we'll do it this episode or next week, but um, at some point I want to try to go uh, mining again and get coal and iron. Maybe diamonds? We would have to go kind of far though. I'm thinking we just go like off in this direction or like off into the ocean over there and hopefully we'll find some good loot because we just got super unlucky last time. I, I would have preferred to get like a little more iron probably, if anything. But we did get pretty unlucky. But like I said, it was part luck. It was also just part me not knowing how the new mining update works. I, I should have probably every time I found iron, I should have dug around a little bit to try to find more. But I just, I'm not used to doing that. That's like a, that's a new Minecraft thing. It's not stuff that most veterans uh, are used to doing. I, okay. Let's just get a couple of, like a couple shovels because we're going to need a couple anyway. Uh, do we need- I don't think we need too many. I think two should be good for now, actually. But yeah, I- I don't know. I- I- like I said, I want to get adventuring at some point. We found- or we made a map that we will go adventuring on eventually. Um, I think that'll be fun. Finding some good, you know, good structures, maybe like temples and stuff. I've gotten mining before and just found an end portal, uh, like a stronghold, just like that. So if we're lucky, maybe we'll find one of those. I doubt it, though. Are those trees white? Or is that... What am I looking at right now? I need a telescope. Are those trees white? Like, snowy? I don't know. I might be going crazy. <laughs> they look... It looks like a, a, a white forest, but I, I don't know. I think I'm just too far away to be able to tell. I don't know. This game's also insanely buggy, so I don't. I I might just be like seeing a glitch over there. Mining this entire place is gonna take a decent amount of time. I don't know how much we want to go down. Um. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just for looks. So if we want, we could just make it go down and then like. I don't know. I mean, it's partly for looks. It's also partly just because if I want to come and get the iron, it'll be faster to be down here than to have to scale up a ladder each time. But maybe we just flatten it a little bit. Bring it down to like 85-ish could be good. Because I also just... Hang on. Yeah, because now we're slowly getting to a point where like the mountain is just flat. Because earlier, everything was kind of like sporadic. So I don't know. If we can... Oops. If we can just- oops, wow, great. If we can just get to a place where everything's like nice and flat, it'll just make everything easier to build later. I don't know if we want to give the iron farm a try right now, or if, uh, or if we should save that for next time, or, or like a future time. But I think if we get like everything done that I want to get done this, uh, this episode, then we'll- I'll just search up a quick like iron farm image and we'll make that happen. But I think the first priorities are setting up a villager breeder, which I think should be easy. I think if you just make a little hole with where villagers can come in. Is it like so is it bad again where I can sleep? 
It's so dark. I feel like we just slept. That should have taken the rain away, and then the rain just started up again. It's just such an ugly look, man. I just want it to look pretty. But yeah, I, I think if we... I think the villager breeder should be pretty easy. It's literally just... You make three beds and one... And like, make a little hole for the baby villager to go through. And then when it grows up, it'll swim up into uh, into like a water stream. That's how I saw Clickwell do it. But again, he's on Java as well. I don't know if it works the same on Bedrock. It should. I don't know why it wouldn't. From everything I know about Bedrock, I think there's enough parity between the two games for it to work properly. But whatever the case, we'll try something. I don't know. Not 100% sure. I probably should have checked it earlier, but, you know, I kind of forgot. <laughs> Guys, I've been busy so, so much lately. I, I actually sent an email recently asking for an extension for another assignment. And they got back to me. How about till Friday? Okay, cool. I guess we have, uh, we have till Friday. Sick. Yeah. Like I said, I've been mad busy. So I'm kind of glad I got an extension on, uh... A school assignment because trying to keep up with everything has been difficult. I have so much editing to do as well. Oh my gosh. Tomorrow's going to be like a full editing day, I think. Like, I, I, I've I been saying for a while that the video I want out by Wednesday might not be out Wednesday. Uh, but I'm still trying my best to make it happen. So I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm hoping that I can get it out by then. Which is going to take some time. It's going to take a lot of effort on my part. Which I, I still think it's possible. Like, I I think I can do it. It's just, it's going to take a bit of work. A bit of work, a leg work on my end. A little more leg work than I'm used to, actually. Because I always put an effort into all my videos. Especially recently. I think old videos, I was just like, I felt obligated to just get something out. And I didn't like doing that. Um. So, you know. I'm, I'm also thinking it might be a good idea to just post it next week. Next week is the 24th. No. 26th. Which is still, like, as long as I post the best of March in April, I'm cool with it. Like, that was always the plan. I never wanted to post it in March because that's just way too much rush <laughs> at the very end to do all that. But, um, I don't know. I, I, I don't, wouldn't mind. What's up, girl? How you doing, bro? Welcome to chat. Yeah, I wouldn't mind posting the video by like... Next week. Next Wednesday. I don't know. I gotta. I wanted to also work on some other unique videos, but it's gonna take some time. And that's the thing. Time, bro. Time is the only thing that I don't have. Just suddenly playing some mod MC? Hell yeah, dude. We are um, setting up an iron farm. We're just clearing some area. Gonna get this down to level 85 and then and then uh and then we're gonna move on and do some other villager stuff and then we'll probably come back to do it if we have time at the end of stream to just start an iron farm running my drill that goes from the surface to bedrock dang like a quarry i i haven't played too much modded honestly i think my favorite modded Mod pack, like my favorite mod pack was uh, Sky Factory. I always love doing stuff like that where you have to like start from nothing and build a whole like perfect ecosystem and all that stuff. Using the create mod, oh I got you. That was always my favorite was doing stuff like that. But uh, I have not played modded in a long while. I don't know why. I I think I got I played a lot of Java Minecraft for like years like that was where i started with gaming and i think i just got burnt out on it and then i just got burnt out on minecraft in general obviously ism season 3 ugh, cough cough might be coming soon uh maybe potentially there might be like a big new minecraft update coming that could lead to ism season 3 i don't know i'm just speculating but um other than that i haven't been playing too much java but I think now that 1.20 is coming out, everyone's kind of on a Java kick. I've heard a lot of people talking about, like, excitement about, you know, about, like, playing Minecraft again. So, I'm hoping that, you know, it leads to something, something good. How is it not night? It's so dark and dreary. I just want it to look pretty. 
Can I just... Okay, please. Wow. Okay, I'm just... I'm bad at parkour, apparently. Yeah, I, I would love to, uh... To get back into Java, honestly, now. Now that 1.20 is coming out. It seems like it's gonna be a fun... Thing. Fun thing to play. Uh, I think Ellie and I have a couple ideas. I, I just need him to come back from vacation, man. He's streaming right now. If you guys... Listen, he's my boy. If you guys want to watch him instead of me, go freaking ahead. Exclamation point Ellie in chat, I think. I think it should work for all users. But, um... Yeah, I, I... I just would... You know what? Hang on. Can we get just... Rat, can you just do this for me real quick? Rat, please. Hang on. Rat's gonna do it. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you, Rat. Thanks, thanks, Rat. Thanks, bud. Um... <laughs> I've gotten kind of tired of Fall Guys. Dude, I Fall Guys season uh season 4, I think is coming out um like next week. Is it next week? I think it's next week. Next Tuesday. So, I'm very excited for that. I'm going to be playing it for show. Is it finally going to be pretty? Doesn't it stop raining after you sleep? What the heck? I thought that was like one of the things with sleeping. Why is it raining so much? Damn. Anyway, yeah. Uh, Fall Guys Season 4 is coming soon. And I'm very excited. I think we're going to be playing that all week next week. Maybe after too. So hopefully I'll get around to Minecraft Legends at some point. Re like soon. Um, it's honestly not something that's been super exciting to me. Like I knew it was coming and I was like, you know, it's Minecraft. I guess we'll give it a shot. But it's not like this huge thing that I like can't wait for, you know? But people seem to want to see me play it. So I'll maybe see if I can give it a go. But other than that, I don't have any big streams planned. This whole week, the streams, I, I like to put stuff on my schedule by Sunday night. But we have no idea what plans people have or what we're doing for stream uh, this week. I only have this stream and Hi-Fi Rush on the schedule. Uh, the Hi-Fi Rush finale is on Saturday, Saturday night, 9 p.m. EST, same time as this stream. So if you want to go watch that, it's going to be fun. It's going to be bloody fun. Uh, I'm excited for that. But, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit, like, I'm perplexed. I'm perplexed about what to do for the rest of the week. But at least finally finishing Hi-Fi Rush is going to be cool. Because I feel like we haven't really played too many new games recently. Um... So, like, I don't know. I, I, I just want to start something new. I, I, I recently got the Peaky Blinders game uh, through Xbox Gold. So, I'm tempted to play that. I think that could be fun. But I got to take a look at it, see if it's actually, like, a fun game or if it's just going to be, like, fun for me to play. Because there's certain games that, like, I love, like Hades. But no one really liked watching that on, uh, on my stream. Which is fun. I mean, I get it. Some games just aren't as fun to watch. So, hopefully, you know... Hopefully, Peaky Blinders will be fun. Otherwise, I'll just play it on my own and show you guys a screenshot when I'm done, I guess. Because I, I love the show, so... And I can't wait for the movie. So, I'm very excited to play it, no matter what. At some point, I'm going to get around to it. Uh, I just don't know exactly in what medium... But then I, I just don't know what else to play. Like, we've... Right now, Thursday streams, normally I do with Ellie. But I don't think it's a good idea to plan for him being around this week. So I might need to think of something else to do Thursday. And then, um... Wednesday, we normally have, like, a big stream with the group. And no one's responded yet. I just texted them, like, a cut, like an hour ago. So we have no idea. But maybe we'll have something planned for the, for the Wednesday stream. Maybe not. We'll see. If we can get four people together, I think it would be fun to do... To give Duck Game another try, maybe. Or do Stick Fight. But, um... I don't know. It could be anything. Maybe we'll give Golf with your friends another try. I think they cancelled last time. So... That could be something good to attempt. I don't know. Whatever happens, I'm sure it'll be fun. Or I'll do something solo. Maybe I'll give Stranded Deep another try. Maybe I'll do, like, the tutorial with you guys... Because I haven't even played the tut tutorial yet. It's become... It's... Like, that game has just gone on the back burner right now. I think we just got busy. Um... Because the thing is, the first stream... It wasn't not... It wasn't, like, not fun, you know? It was fun. It's just that it was a whole new game. And we didn't realize that the tutorial is only in single player. 
So we just had no idea what we were doing. So it was just like this game of trying to figure out what the hell we're actually trying to do. Um, I think that's when it got a little bit like, I don't know. We just kind of lost interest because we were like so confused. But I think if I wa if I play the tutorial, uh, I think it'll be good for us. I'm trying to think of other games I haven't finished. Cuphead was one. Cuphead was one that I put on the back burner. And then eventually I said I was just going to do it in Discord. But I've been too busy to do that either. And I also, I realized it was one of the few streams. Like, it was one of the few games that has its own playlist on my YouTube channel. On my YouTube uh, VOD archive. Because it's one of those games that I think would be... Like, I think people would enjoy, like, binging. And it was uploaded very sporadically. Like, there'd be months in between uploads. So I feel like I should really just clean that one up, right? I should probably finish it properly. So I'm kind of rethinking my my proclamation that I'd only played on Discord. I might just give it a shot on, on stream again. So that could be something fun to play this week. I would have to relearn how the game works though. Because I remember nothing. Getting close to being done. We don't need these seeds anymore. We'll toss them when our inventory is full. Or we can just do it now. We already have a farm, so I don't really care about seed seeds anymore. But yeah, I I don't know. I I'm I I I just there's so many games to play. Hollow Knight was another one. Hollow Knight's one that I've given two shots on stream. I've done like two different series on it, and uh, yeah, neither of them have uh, been completed because I I just kept losing interest in it. I don't know. But eventually I want to finish the game because I started it on Xbox, which means, as you guys know, it's kind of my goal to try to finish every game I've started. Um, but I just got to find the new, the new thing that just clicks with me, you know? The next thing that I think would be fun to play on the stream. Maybe I'll just scour through Game Pass games uh, and see if I can find one that would be fun for weekly streams for a while. I don't know. I think, did I stream last Thursday? Did I do anything? I might have, was that, was that Frog Detective? Or I think Frog Detective was on Wednesday. So I'm not 100% sure, but I don't know. Maybe I could also just honestly take a little bit of a break and see some friends, but I'm just bad at planning stuff. But I could just take that time to plan stuff with my friends or even record something for, uh, for YouTube. Cause now that I've learned that my phone can film in super good quality, Kind of excited to test it. So that could also be the next next thing we do. On to the final layer. Here we go. Oops. Uh, we want this. I assume we, we'll figure out a block to make the entire floor of it. But for now, we'll just leave it how it is. Yeah. Um, trying to think of other stuff that's like, I don't know. I mean, regardless, this week is a, is a weird week. I'm going to have like <laughs> no heads up of what streams are happening, which sucks. I hate doing that, but it's literally just because, uh, oops. I, it's just because when you have streams that are like with other people, I just can't always let you know by Sunday. I did say for a while that I wanted to do more solo stuff, and then I ended up not doing much much more solo stuff. So we'll try to... That's why I want to like think of new games that I would be interested in playing. Because then we have a little more solo content for you guys. We want this to be floor. And let's just get this to the stack that we need, and then we'll go back and dump all of our resources. We're close to finishing this, though. We did this much quicker than I expected to. Uh, I guess we can break one more. There we go. Nice. I honestly, also, we kind of needed all these mats just for uh, building other stuff. So I'm cool with the kind of grindy nature of it, because at some point we were going to need to grind this out. And it's just, it's a good thing that we got done now. This place is coming along. We're gonna need to do the animal farm. That's one thing that we need to do as well. We're gonna at some point have to build like a nice animal farm that actually like doesn't suck. 
and you know has everything that we need because these sheep can't even regrow their wool because I just completely forgot that was a thing There we go, that's some good mats dude. That's gonna be good for us in the future. I know for show sure. Can we sleep yet? I really need the rain to go away. This sucks, man. I hate the rain so much. Let's try to get another cow. We have the chickens. We don't care about pigs and we have the sheep. So, and we also have brown sheep, which is a big thing. So I think next thing we're going to do, maybe we'll make this like the cow pen later and we'll bring some sheep over here. So that way they're closer to the grass that's already over there and we can just bring that over. Um, and we can just make a pathway with dirt and that'll be good. And we can just release the sheep into their pen at some point. Uh, and the pen they're currently in, we'll just put the cows in there. That works out for me. We'll make a nice looking staircase up to the iron farm at some point. That's why I wanted to bre break this all the way down to like level 64 or whatever we're at. But it's just going to take so much time. I don't know if it's worth the effort. So maybe a, just a staircase will be easier. I feel like we're getting close to nighttime again. I also feel like we need to make a mob farm at some point. I think that'll be one of the easiest parts. Damn, where's the sun, man? Uh, I, I feel like that'll be one of the easiest parts, actually, because of the ocean. Um, all of the, like, water caves that we've had underneath. Like, the only mobs that we have to deal with right now are drowned. So hopefully, just if we build something over the ocean, we'll, we'll just be able to make a nice little mob farm. And whatever drowned farm we end up making, because we want one of those two for tridents, we can do that a little bit further away over there. There we go. Finally get to sleep. Good night. Honk shoe, me, me, me. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think uh, we should probably not make them within each other's grasp, because then they'll like keep triggering within each other and it's just gonna make an issue. Maybe if we make like the mob farm here and then the drowned farm kind of out there where the ocean is. We also need a kelp farm somewhere near us. Um, Cause I think roasted kelp is good for, um, for what do you call it? For smelting. So if you make like a bunch of roasted kelp and then you smelt kelp with that roasted kelp, it makes like two more blocks. So it's like, it creates more. Like, you, you make a profit. That wolf scared the crap out of me for a sec. Thought it was a skeleton. Oh, boy. Not that it matters. If we die, we die. But I would rather not die right now. We have, like, ten levels. Which isn't great, but... I just... I don't know. I don't like dying. That's the thing. That's why I liked hardcore for so long, is I don't like dying. So if I die, I just end up resetting. And I'm, like, cool with it. But for stream, that's not such a good idea. Not the best plan. Yeah, it's cool. We got a lot of farms that we want to make. That's why I want to go exploring at some point. I don't want everything to just be farms. But I think we can get a couple... If we can get a couple done today. Um, and then a couple done next time. Then the, af the one after we can go mining and do all that stuff. Where is my crafting table? Hello? Oh, you're still up here, huh? Whoops. Didn't realize I just left you there, but have fun, I guess. But yeah, we're close to getting the iron farm at least kind of sort of set, you know, I I don't know. I'm not I don't like iron farms. That's the thing I feel like I've done one iron farm in my life because every time I get to a point in a game where I want to do one I just get bored. I'm like screw this. I'm not doing this anymore And then I just end up not playing Because <laughs> iron farms are so annoying. It's like you gotta get all the villagers up here, which sucks and then you gotta like uh, like, you, you have to build everything as well. You gotta do all the beds and stuff. Like, it's all, it's a lot of work. So, I don't know. That's just not what I want to do nor most of the time. But I think it's pretty important we get it done this time. Because, um... Because, like, we're way too low on iron. And I can't go mining every time I need iron. Because it's just, it's, it is one of the most important resources. I remember watching a video, like, years ago. That was, like the iron man challenge or something it might have been stampy along those actually but it was like getting every iron item in the game and it took so long because there was just so many because it's one of the most important resources but it's kind of under 
looked, I think. Coal too. Coal is pretty important, but I'm just I never get enough of it. Especially with all the new mining stuff now. I'm not used to all the new mining yet. I feel like Caves and Cliffs made this game so annoying in so many ways. I know like the whole point of it was to make it more fun, but like I don't know, for some reason it just it pisses me off now. Trying to get all these resources. Cause now it's so much more work to do it. And the caves just aren't worth the benefit. Which sucks, cause if, I, I feel like Mojang just can't win. Like, I don't want to even hate on them because, like, no matter what they do, they just get hate. And they got, like, bullied, essentially, into making Caves and Cliffs. And even then, it wasn't good enough for people. So, no hate to them. But it just isn't my vibe, unfortunately. Alright, I think we're almost done. We just clear this a little bit. Then we can do, I think we should do the sheep farm next. Um, because I think getting them bred up and all that is a good thing to do while we're doing all our other stuff. And then, and then we can do the villagers. Which includes the trading hall, includes the breeder. I'll have to check online real quick for a good, uh, villager breeder. And if it's essentially what I think it is, which is just... Getting three beds, making a baby, making the baby go far enough away from the bed to unlink, and then make another one. Then I think we can do that pretty easily. But also, how do you... Oh, I think it's also like, you need a farm. Pretty sure you need a farm. So that they keep uh, feeding themselves to breed more. It's a lot of work, dude. Villagers suck. There's so much work. But also, they give you so much good loot. I mean, we have no diamond stuff yet, and as soon as we get a villager, like a bunch of villagers, we can get diamond gear just like that, I believe. I'm pretty sure some, some villagers trade them. And that just makes everything so much easier. We're also going to want a cartographer at some point and all that stuff, but that's a later issue, I think. Okay, I think we're good. I think we go back and we start working on the sheep now. Speaking of, look at you. Let me see if I can just grab you real quick. There we go. I'm going to take you back home with me. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, you're my friend now. I'm just going to leave you here for now. Kind of out of the way. And, um... Let's just break this real quick just to get us in. Okay, so now what we want to do is we have a ton of dirt to use to work with the sheep, which is kind of what we want to do next. How much coal do I have? I should probably leave some of it in here. Um, I also don't need this. There we go. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, so we, like, literally we just use all this dirt. We have a couple slabs left. We're gonna have to smelt some more slabs, which sucks! It takes so much coal just to do it, but... Oh well. Now, I think this should honestly big enough be big enough for the cow farm. Like, I don't think we need that many cows. So, whatever, this is good enough for us. And then we just start building out the, um, the sheep from here, I think. So let's just figure out how exactly we want to do it. Because we're going to need 16 different colors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. So I think at the center, because it's not a double symmetrical uh, thing, it's it's a single... Uh, what, what is it? Like, I don't know if, what the specific word is, but it's like... It's only symmetrical using one block. So we'll make that middle block, like, pathway between all the sheep. I also hate, dude, I, I don't know what it is. I hate wasting resources. Like, if one block falls, I gotta go pick it up. Um, unless it's, like, renewable, like seeds. And it always wastes me so much time in this game. <laughs> it's, I, it's such a bad habit. So we have, like, this one path here to take us um, back over there. 
And then we like build. And we also. Oh. We're gonna need like. A trim of dirt actually. And then we can start this path again. Do I not have any? I do have cobblestone on me. Why won't you? What is my what is my button to equip this item? If I've oh, it's because they're cobblestone slabs. I I forgot I used slabs there. Uh, actually, I should probably go get slabs more than over uh, these blocks instead of wasting a ton of cobblestone like that. I forgot I did that. Wow, look at me being so smart back in the day. As in a week ago. <laughs> so yeah, okay. What the plan is here is this 2x2 two two is going to be where the sheep go, I think. Oh, but then we also need space for fences. That sucks. Let me, let me try to brain this out. So if I do uh, another bit over here. Yeah, I might need to make like a 4x4 four four for sheep. But then it shouldn't be an issue if if we use the outside trim for that. So basically what we would do... Hmm. No, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go out one more. So I want like, I want a layer of grass on the outside completely unobtainable by the sheep. Just in case we don't want to use too much. So the fences will go here and here. And it'll make like a 2x2 two two pen for the sheep to sit in. But then outside of that pen, there will also be this grass that will... So it's going to be a pretty big area, but it should also make like make sure that no matter what, the sheep have grass. Which also means eventually we can break this and turn it into a slab, but we'll do that later. Let me get some fences just so I can make sure that I'm doing this exactly how I want to do it. We got some walls here. Let's honestly, we have so much cobblestone at this point. Let's just make, um, yeah, let's just make like a stack of them into walls. I don't think I did this earlier. Maybe I did. I probably should have checked first. Do we have any other walls? I don't think we do. Yeah, better idea to check before you make the stuff, but you know, it's okay. That was smart. So the walls would go two, three, four. And go here. Uh, uh, no, I'm an idiot. We need one more. So that is one pen right there. And we'll just put it on the corners. Torches on the corners just to make sure nothing spawns here. And then on the uh, on these walls, we can do little uh, carpets. So that the sheep can't escape, but we can get in. So yeah, that's good. We, we got a good thing here. And we're gonna need 16. So I guess we do four by four, right? Um, that probably makes most sense the most sense. Is that it? One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Yep, we need one more. There we go. Uh we're gonna need a lot more torches. Let's just make more now. Just so we have them. Let's make like a solid stack of them, I think. Whoops. And we make a stack. There we go. This is honestly pretty good. I think we can also make the chicken farm soon. Uh, that I think we're going to have to do next time. Because I don't remember how to make it off the top of my head. I'd rather not- I've tried to do it just off the top of my head before and it didn't work, so I'd rather not, like, mess around doing that for too long. Um... Let's just- honestly, I think we just make this dirt, actually. Also, cobblestone's renewable, so I don't have to go pick those up, it's fine. If you make this dirt, it looks nicer, and also, then, grass will spread faster. Like, having that one- Thing around all the time we'll just make it easier for grass to spread so yeah this is like perfect it's gonna be big it's gonna be a pretty big build I think 
and waiting for the grass to spread everywhere is going to take forever. But I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good for us um, for the future. So now we need two, three, four, two, three, four. And then we do the same thing here. And then we just do the trim outside. I don't think this has to take too long to get done. I think we can get through this. I don't know if we have enough dirt for it. That's the thing. That's like the only thing right now. I'm not 100% sure if we have enough dirt to actually fulfill how we want to make this go. Because it is a very big uh, structure for seemingly no reason. But like the real reason is just to make sure that everything... It's clean, it's not like a affected by mobs or anything, no matter what. Um, like we won't get attacked going in here. Cause if we built it over there, we'd have to clear a bunch of land and then, you know, torch it up, put walls, do all that stuff. I think both would take about the same amount of time, honestly. So that's one layer done. We just do that again three more times and we're done. Uh, so that's another one, then one layer, then one, two, three, four, one layer, one, two, three, four, and one layer there. So this will be a wall, one, two, I think this will be a wall, and one, two, there. That should be right. Yep, everything, yeah, everything aligns how I want it to. So that's how far out we need to go. So we can, if anything, we can just use all of our dirt right now. Just do that first. Um, make a giant square and then go back and put all the walls and do all that stuff. I think that'll be a little bit faster than how we're doing it right now. I like, I like making stuff like this. I don't know what it is. It's kind of satisfying to me. It's relaxing to just go and, you know, just work away. Make some easy farms, especially when I make them myself. That's the thing, like, I don't mind making farms. Like, the iron farm always pissed me off because I couldn't do it myself. I couldn't figure out how to do it myself. Same with the chicken farm. Like, I kind of get how it works, but I just... Or, like, not chicken farm, just basically, like, the chicken killer. Um, the cooked chicken farm, I guess. Um, like, I don't mind it. It's just I can't figure out how to do it myself, and that, like, pisses me off. Because, like, this is, like, this is simple. This isn't doesn't need to be automated or anything like that it can be if you want it to be maybe we'll add some dispensers later to dispense stuff and some minecarts underneath that run and grab everything we could do that at some point um but for now it doesn't have to be automated so it's like i don't know it's just something i do myself and even like dispensers i know how they work like i can make an observer do all that stuff I think I'm just not right now because it's like, we don't even have dispensers. I think you need quartz. No, you need quartz for observers, which we don't have. And, um, and this, this just, I don't know. This is more like personable. I don't, I like when my animals are like my friends. <laughs> I feel bad when I just trap them in like little holes, even though sometimes I gotta, but like still. This coming from the person who killed a dog in the last stream, but it had to be done. It was attacking my my friends. Come on up. Come on. Come on up. Can you make it up here? Oh, you can. Are you going to attack me or just attack a wall? Thanks. I, I was waiting for it to come up so I could just get string without having to hop down there. It delivered it right to me. Thanks, spider. What a nice spider. But yeah, eventually if we really want to, we can automate the uh, sheep farm and bring all the sheep into like... I mean, we could keep this place and just make an, an automated farm right next to it. That's fine with me. But for now, at least we got like this little space. And then eventually we also have this space later if we need like a big flat area. 
it's done already for us, you know? That's another reason why I just like making stuff like this. It's like the more you flatten, the more space you have to work on projects, right? Like every time I flatten out like a big mountain, it just, it looks so nice. It becomes like this little satisfying place. Just takes a little bit of work, that's all. Which I don't mind putting in at all. I'm, I'm totally cool with building like this. This is my favorite way of building. I'm not good at building pretty stuff. I'm good at building like uh, stuff that works, you know? I'm good at building stuff that uh, does what we need it to do. I think grass should remain under a slab. So it might be a good idea to put some slabs around the edge. Like we have with everything else so far. Because it doesn't really matter. Like, the grass will stay. And that's kind of all we need that for. So. We don't need this right now. Uh, We don't need that. Let's make... Uh, we probably need, like, another couple stacks of walls. So let's just do, like, two more stacks, I guess. I could probably math it out, but screw it. We'll just figure it out. There we go. Oh, perfect. That torch was exactly where it needed to be. Let's just put these next to each other. Makes it quicker. Okay. Now we will go with the speed of freaking sound, baby. Which is still not that fast, apparently. Perfect. Yeah, this is just what I love doing. Oh, there's a helmet. I don't feel like j swimming all the way back just to get that helmet. I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> I think gold is not that rare of a commodity. Like, it, it just looks so pretty. Look at it. It's like this perfect island of sheep. It's got everything we need. Everything the sheep need, too. That was another reason why I wanted to um, clear all that land for the iron farm. I didn't necessarily need to, because the iron farm had... Um, it could have been at any height, but clearing all that land helped with giving us the mats we needed for other stuff. Including this, including the farm. I think at first we needed uh, stuff for the wheat, wheat potato carrot beetroot farm. Um, oops. Obviously now that's already done, so we, we don't need to worry about it too much, but... It was helping, I think, when we were still working on that. There we go. Real quick, let me just check on something. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's keep moving. I think we're gonna have the perfect amount of walls as well. Is it the last of it? Oh, there is like 16 more. Damn, we're so close. We'll pretend that we got the perfect amount and that those 16 don't exist. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. Um, Alright, this is looking good. I think... So either we put the slabs here, or I think it would look better if we made another path around the edge of these slabs and then put the stone slabs on there. Um, So let's just do that real quick. Very simple build, um, but this is peak Minecraft to me, is building stuff like this. Now, the annoying part is getting all the sheep in place. That's what sucks for me, but it's all right. We can do it. We'll figure it out. We also need some more slabs.
But what I think, another thing that I think we need to do, let's just make both stacks. Eventually we're gonna need them anyway. Another thing I think we should do is bring this entire thing out, out by one so that we can run along the side here. Cause the cows are still gonna be here. So um, yeah, that might be a good idea as well. But we'll do that after. <sighs> oh boy. Yeah, this is exactly what I missed from Minecraft. There's a game that was like given away on gold recently on Xbox Gold that was like, um, I think it was called like Automato or something like that. It was just like an automation game. Like, I don't know what it is. Games like that, like factory games, games that are like super like kind of perfect. Like, um, like, cause like stuff like this, this is super clean. It's perfect. It's like, it's not too like crazy difficult to work on. I don't know. Stuff like that is my favorite. Is it's what I love working on. We need to um build a little bridge to get the grass where we want it to go. Whoops. There we go. So whenever that grass spreads, we're good. We're gonna need a lot more stone slabs, but I don't feel like working on that right now. It's such a waste of uh, of coal. I don't know why we decided to use it. Honestly, there's there was no reason, but uh, too late now to go back on it, considering how much is built out of it. Hopefully, when we make a a kelp farm, it'll help us smelt more uh, cobblestone to make these stupid stone slabs. Yeah, we could start leading these guys in. Honestly, if we want. Uh, do I have... I have one brown wall. And I have purple carpets from something. Probably from uh, the pillager outpost or something. Where's my shears? Where are my shears? Did I leave them in here? Oh, they're here. In the first chest! Cool! I heard one of them pop out an egg just now. Okay, that is... Is that enough for brown wool? It is. I think we should put the brown wool in the back. I think like white, black, gray, brown, they're all like, they're like, eh. You know, I think the ones that should be in front are, or maybe we do like rainbow. It's like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, wrap around purple, pink, um, et cetera, et cetera. So let's put brown like here, ish. Which means we need to hydrate. Thank you, Jazz. We need to break this away and bring the sheep over there. Thanks, Jazz. It's been a minute since I actually hydrated, so that was very helpful. <sighs> All right, let's get some wheat. And then we'll put the white sheeps as well somewhere over there. And if we can somehow, maybe we can make a way to just get the baby sheep out because we need to... I mean, should I just breed all these sheep before I start dragging them away? Like, I probably should get, like, a lot of sheep, right? I'm not sure. Because we're going to need a lot more at some point. Um, what the heck? Where did you go? What? Hello? Sheep don't just despawn. Where did you go? Great. Cool. Thanks. At least, I, I don't know what it is with boats, man. Boats suck. Uh, I forgot we made like a little temporary tree sh tree farm over here as well. Um, okay, so sheep are done. We need to work on the villagers, but like, again, villagers piss me off so much. So, I don't know. I don't know if that's what we want to do right now. I should probably, let me search up a, a real quick villager breeder. Just to get a sense of what they're like. Um, so let's say bedrock... Villager breeder. There it is. I'm just going to mute the tab. Real quick. Okay. And we're just going to watch like a very quick video on, on a type of breeder. I think it should be very simple. I think it's literally just... 
Yeah, it, it is exactly what I thought. A bunch of villagers that just pop out babies, put them into a little place where you can minecart them out. Oh, that's smart. Okay, so you put two villagers like right next to each other. And then put 10 beds. That makes sense. You put extra beds just in case. Okay, so this is an interesting one where you don't put them in a farm. Which is... Hmm. Because here's the thing, right? Having to feed the villagers myself, I feel like that makes things a little more difficult. But we could still do it. I think that's fine. If we want. All we'd need is a dispenser, or a dropper, which is even easier to make. Because it's just cobblestone and redstone. I actually, I remember this video. I've actually done this in the past. I've, uh, I've used this guy's video before. Alright, I guess we'll do this. I guess, I don't mind doing this. That's fine. Um, and we'll make this villager breeder. Uh, and it'll be somewhere over there. So we're gonna need to get villagers over there somehow so we need a lot of iron we need some blocks we're gonna need some droppers a water bucket <sighs> hang on he actually had a list of all the things we'll need at the start of the video so let me just look at that real quick we need 10 beds that's the biggest thing we're gonna need 10 beds which we can't currently get our hands on let's also real quick while we're just now, now that we're kind of in between uh, projects, let's just take a look at our kind of trading hall area and make sure all the villagers are okay over there. Where's my boat? You're somewhere around here. I know you are. I mean, I guess this one doesn't have a sheep in it for some reason, so let's just grab this one. I feel like we're getting to the point in the series where it might be a good idea to do some stuff off camp. I don't know. Can I go through this? Nope. I don't know exactly what we would do off cam, but I think like maybe breeding the sheep and stuff uh, might be a good idea. Just to get that kind of out of the way. There we go. And then, um, I don't know. We'll see. I think it would be cool to, uh, um, Get the cows as well bred up. Maybe work on like villager stuff a little more. I don't know. How you guys looking? How you guys feeling? Oh, there's a there's a cat again. Um, we got three villagers here. Eventually, I'll probably kill these guys off because I don't know. I just I like the tundra ones more. So there's literally no reason for them to be here. Also, this guy's already been traded with, and so we don't need him. Um. Oh, they're gonna do it again. Oh, there's four kids, and there's about to be a fifth. Okay, it's looking good for us. So, if there's seven here right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's get rid of these beds for now. Or actually, uh, let's just try to keep all the white beds, just so it's like clean and crisp when we get over there. So, we're going to get rid of this one. I'm going to place this down. Get rid of this one. And place this now. Both of them should get... Yeah, okay. Both of them have been set to one of these villagers um so we have one two three four five six okay for now we're gonna stop breeding here because there's kind of no point i mean after this turns into a trading hall we actually don't need to breed anymore because then all these beds will get removed the villagers are already here there's no more breeding that needs to be done for them so we just transport villagers from over there over here and that's good enough. Honestly, yeah, I think that's better. That's probably the better move. We got rid of these. Let's just get 10 beds over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And uh, not having a bunch of blue beds sucks. Or a bunch of white beds sucks. Let's see if we can get one more that's just white because we're so close. I'm also a little tempted to re-log to see if the sheep that was in this boat will be here when I get back. But I kind of doubt it. 
I don't think that's how it works. We also, I really want to make the Flying Dutchman look cool. That's one of my goals at some point in the series. Um, but I don't know how long the series is going to go. Because it, I mean, it seems very clear to me that people aren't as fond of this. I think people on, Vo on the VOD archive kind of like it. But I think people live don't really like it as much. Um, so I don't know how long I want to keep this going. I wanted to beat the Ender Dragon at some point. But I was just working on some external stuff. Like farms and stuff. Making this our world. But if we want, I can just rush to the end and, and try to, you know, bomb rush the dragon, take him out. Um, I just want to have fun with this series because I kind of like my... I just like hopping back into Minecraft. Because I feel like when we get to ISMP, I don't think I'm going to do that much grinding. It's going to be a lot more just playing with my friends. Messing around with my friends uh, than anything. So, I'm just running in circles. What am I doing? Uh, Village Breeder, that's it. We're going to need a little more sh uh, wool, sheep wool. So we can probably do that as we're running to the village. We might be able to find some sheep. We have our shears. Let's uh, let's just get everything we need from home and transport it right over there. Uh, I have my boat. I have... Let me check the list over here. Going to need... Okay. We're going to need six glass. We're we'll just make this how he made it, just for the sake of like it looks kind of pretty. Gonna need a couple ladders, one dispenser, and one dropper. Do we have the string for dispenser? We do. Uh, oops. That's no, fine. Those two string can be in separate places. Whatever. I don't care that much. Make a bow here, which will allow us... Let's just get it out of our hand so we don't accidentally use it. Uh, we need... Okay, well, for, for one, we can get rid of some of this stuff. Like, this stuff we don't need. We don't need that. Don't need that. We need you. And we're gonna need you. This, this music's a little creepy. Am I wrong? It's it's making it's giving me like a little eerie vibes. I don't like it. I'm not I'm not liking it. We need a little bit of cobblestone just to build with. It doesn't have to be super pretty. Um, we need a lever apparently, which we already have in here, and two buttons which we can make. A piston which we actually have. Some trap doors which we have, and some rails which I don't think we have yet. Pretty sure we'll have to make a couple rails. So. Let's just do that. Okay, now the music's a little more upbeat, but before it was getting real weird, real creepy. Wasn't liking it. Okay, uh, let's see if we can just build this based off looking at the image. I'm just looking at one still from the video, and hopefully that'll be enough. Hang on. Um... I mean, it, it seems simple enough. Let me just get to a good still. Okay, that's a good one. We're just going to build this based off what we can see. Which, again, we're going to have to check it based off being 100 or so blocks away from the pillager outpost. We just do 100 to be 100% sure that it is far enough. Oh, can we actually... Let's real quick see if we can... If any pillagers have spawned. Because I want to see if we know... Because um, we set up a bunch of glass panes earlier. I just want to see if we can tell yet where they spawn. Because one of these spots they're supposed to spawn at. I think we'll have to... We'll have to, like, actually seek it out at some point. Like, we'll have to just sit in AFK and find the spot. But I was hoping they would just be here. Because I kind of forgot we did that earlier. So it's from 191. Okay. 191. Oh, I'll actually take your wool. Actually, it's fine. We want white wool if we can, because we have all white beds so far. Oh, this music's getting funky, bro. It started off real eerie, but now it's, it's doing kind of well. It's, it sounds nice. Alright, the closest we can build this is 91. There is some white wool.
Uh, 91. Uh, I mean, let's just build a little further. Like, here is fine. Did we just build with glass right away? That's probably not a good idea. Because if we mess up, we're, we're gonna have to break it. Um... Okay. So, let's start with the dispenser. So, the dispenser is gonna be where we drop the minecart. So, the minecart's gonna come from here. It'll be like... It'll just go out this way. Or really, it can go in any direction, which we're probably going to want to go in uh, this direction. Now, we're going to need... We're going to need glass here. We'll put white wool there just for now, just to make sure everything fits properly, and then we'll make it go later. That's right. Okay. Hello, kitty. Uh, now we're gonna need normal blocks. Okay, and this is going off of one still from a video, so hopefully it's good enough. Not 100% sure, but I think we need to put something there, but not here. Okay, and then we need something that goes a little up. This is the most sus one I've ever done. I've never built a farm this weirdly. Normally I watch the video, but I can't exactly do that in a in a stream. So I'm just doing my best, boys. I'm just doing my best. I'm trying to watch what I can while also making this work. I, I also heard something. Thankfully, we have like 100 beds on us, so we can sleep over here before it becomes too dark. Please. I can hear a monster. Where are you? I feel like I just saw you somewhere, but... Maybe I'm lying. We're gonna move this kind of far away, because I feel like the zombie is close enough that it's gonna break us. Break our sleep attempts. Um, There we go. Alright, cool. Let's keep going. Okay, we have all of our resources now. I can get rid of that tab. Okay, so in terms of... If I keep... If I look at this still again... So in terms of the containment unit, it's a 2x2, two two, and then there's stuff here. So I assume there's stuff here. Unless those are trapdoors there. Regardless, there is stuff here. It goes up one, two, and three, which actually checks out to where we want to keep the villagers, which will be up here. Then we have this over here, which incentivizes the babies to move forward, I think. Uh... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I understand. So be one, two, three, four up. If... Okay, cool. So the, the glass will still go here. We'll do that again at the end, just in case. Just in case anything goes wrong. Um, so now, actually, this, I think, is going to need to be a piston. Because that's what pushes the um, the babies out. This is the most basic redstone stuff. There we go. Let me just adjust real quick. Okay. So yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. So basically, the villagers sit up there. You piss in them. They come down here, and that's as simple as it gets. Seriously. We're gonna put one glass. I think it should be fine. There's no issues here. Water here. I, I normally like to refill my water as soon as I use it, but... 
I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to clutch in this game anyway. I've already tried to water block, block clutch, clutch, water bucket clutch, and I haven't been able to. So I doubt it's going to happen. But, you know, I like to keep it full just in case. Um, next. I think. How many? They want us to use 10 trapdoors. So we've used. Okay, so yeah, there's supposed to be trapdoors here too. So let's just, you know what, just so we don't flood everything. That's it. Then we can put the water there. So this is how we want it to look. Generally, I think these trapdoors are supposed to be oak so you can look through them, but it doesn't matter. We have glass here in the front, so we'll be able to see everything regardless. Um, And then we're going to want... I mean, now it's just a matter of bringing the villagers up there, I think. Go up here. We need to put something there, so that goes there. Something there. So, the villagers go here, and then the glass block would be here. Uh, or no, they actually want the glass block to be at their head. Okay, that makes sense. So actually... The glass block would be up there. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of whispering to myself so I can actually like sort this out without wasting resources. So if the guys are sitting right here, glass would be right here. And then it comes out one more. And then it goes up three. Okay, that's perfect. So now, the babies will just get pushed through this little hole using the piston. Which is exactly what we want. We'll need to get the guys up there. But I think other than that, we're basically done right there. Easy. Um. Okay, we're gonna need, uh, I think... The lever is going to go in the dispenser that's up here. The piston is going to go... Or the button for the piston. Oh, sorry. I'm not fully... Yeah, there we go. Now I can make the buttons. One will be here. I think... Yeah, I should be able to click. It doesn't break anything. And one will be here. Minecarts will go in here whenever we need them. Um. Oh, shit. You're using your brain. Oh, what's up, Karina? What's up, Scrub? Sorry, guys. I was just so focused. I didn't see you guys. Uh, how you how you doing? We're making a villager breeder, so um, yeah, I was just very focused on making this like exactly how it's supposed to be made. Um, but I think it's done. All we have to do is get two villagers in here, put a a a case um a dispenser over them, and then uh we'll need to put beds in the back here, which we'll do at the very end, I think. I got hit with an ad, but it just disappeared after one second. What the heck? What I'm realizing is I don't have the iron, though, that I need to minecart them in. So. I almost used my brain. It was close. Let's also just, just in case. Let's just put a block there for now. We'll, we'll fix it later, but I just don't want to risk messing this up at all. Now, we know that we have a bunch of villagers here. So I say we just put one of them in, or we put two of them in, and then we just kill the others. Because at this point, right, like, there's no real reason to keep them alive, I don't think. We'll just breed more when we need more. We'll kill them with, like, a bucket of lava or something, just so we don't get in trouble for it. Or drown them. Yeah, I'm a good person. <laughs> Let's go back and get some iron. That was, like, I should have just kept a bunch of iron on me. That was my L, but whatever, it's fine. I made this too difficult even for me to escape. Yeah, I've done this I've done this uh breeder before on a solo world and it worked very well, so this is a good idea. Honestly, if we want, we could even transport this farm over there. Either bring all these resources over there or just build a new one over there and I mean, either way, it's not that big of a deal. We're not, like, trying to completely efficientize everything or automate everything or do anything crazy. This is just 
some of the base stuff that I think we need just to make things a little bit easier for us. Villager Slaves Pog. Yeah, we already have a couple uh, sitting somewhere. Do that. Gonna need a minecart. We'll just keep the rest of us just in case. And let's get some water real quick. Alright, I think we should be good to go through with it now. I think we just move all the villages over that we want to move. And then, um... Cows! I'm gonna come back for you. I'll come back for you. <laughs> Thanks for just sitting there, guys. I appreciate it. We're gonna need those cows later when we make our little cow farm, so that's perfect for us. I think we even have leads because of, um... The trading villager guy. So, yeah, that's perfect for us. I think this is exactly what we need. Can you... Can you please... Please? Oops. If I break you, and I put a little bit of a rail here, there we go. There we go, that's exactly what we wanted. I just need you to drop down real quick. Please? Oh my god, I hate villagers. Oh my god. If anyone ever wondered why I hate villagers so much. Oh gosh. Okay, so future, we put blocks here just to make sure that they actually fall in. There we go. There we go. That's all we needed. Now try not to hit him. Oh, thank you. Um, Can I grab the block from through the wall? There I can. Um... Yeah, guys, I'm so smart. I did it. Okay, so that's one. We just need one more, and then we're done. Uh, let's just block this just in case any zombies decide to show up out of the blue. I'd rather not kill off my guys that quickly. Well, there's clearly one in here. Without a doubt. So, I'm gonna need to grab these rails. And then, yeah, I'm definitely just going to try to kill off all the other ones. I don't know how exactly. I think if I kill them without them, without any of the other ones hearing them... Actually, I can go from here. I think if I kill off all the other ones without the first villagers hearing them, it should be okay. But I'm not 100% sure if that's how it works. Let's also sleep again. I don't know. I'm worried. I don't want their trades to go down. Because I don't know, if they breed new babies, will they tell the babies, like, hey, this player is a villain and don't give them good stuff? Like, I don't know if, how, how that's supposed to work. So, um... I'm so close. I'm so close to making a, a feasible minecart rail. There we go. I think there actually might be two in here. Not sure. Guys, come out here. Come on. Okay. Come with me. You're gonna you're gonna just go out there. Okay? It's gonna be it's all gonna be okay. I'm gonna need you to just go out there. There we go. And you can stay in here. I'll probably kill you at some point. It's fine. Villagers, I feel like, are much easier now. I don't know if I've gotten better with them or if they just have changed in some way, but I watched your Pico Park video on YouTube. It was hilarious. I'm glad you liked it. I, I worked very hard on it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I have a new one hopefully coming soon, a new video. It'll probably be like a, either this Wednesday or next Wednesday. I was trying for this Wednesday, but if I do it next Wednesday, it also makes sense based on... um. Just based on how, how much 
work it as it's that'll probably be what happens uh ooh, okay hang on if i put you there will you work there you go yeah i'm glad you had fun I, that was a very funny vod to me i'm i'm glad that we played that game okay now if i just nudge you just a little bit please oh i'm an idiot i um i made a hole i made a block here so i wouldn't I'll fix that in a sec. I made a block there just so I wouldn't, uh, he wouldn't die. That is my mistake. Can I just, can I just, please, hang on. There we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, w I want my YouTube videos, uh, to be, like, a certain quality, and I think that one was as quality as you're gonna get. Um, so yeah, I'm glad you liked it. I'm, I'm gonna keep working hard on videos like that. Okay, now I put a block there, and if I just put a little bit of a dropper right here, pointing downwards, I think that's all we need. We can break away all of these blocks. This block, yep. Um... I need a new pickaxe. Do I have iron? I do. Thank God. I actually kept iron on me. Make an iron pickaxe. Uh, I don't know how much longer I want to go. I got I got done pretty much everything I wanted to get done today. The iron farm, I don't know. I don't even know how to make one. So I don't know if I should try to do that off stream or if I should just do it next stream or something. But um, I think this block needs to stay... And this block needs to stay. And then we can break all this way. We also need to make beds. That's the last thing. This block can break. Okay. And we can also put a, a lever right here. So we can put food in there anytime. And okay. So that's basically it. Let's uh, fill this real quick. That is basically everything other than... Hang on. There should not be a block here. We put that there just in case. We would need it, but we no longer need it. Okay. So yeah, now anytime a baby comes, we can just push. They'll push out, and they'll be sent right here. And then a minecart will, you know. My cousin did a very simple iron farm on our server. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sure there's some simple ones. If you're on uh, Java, it might be a little bit easier for you. I'm not 100% sure. But I know that on Bedrock, it's uh, a little bit annoying. I remember it being annoying last time. But then again, I thought that all villager stuff was annoying. And today has gone by like a breeze. So, where's that sheep that I've been shearing? We need a couple more beds. But yeah, I, I think we might be able to uh, finish this without too much hassle. Oh, there you are. Oh, perfect. Okay. We can make two more beds, which is all we need to finish off this farm. There you go. We just need... I believe it's at around this height. I don't think it matters too much. And then, let me just make sure if I put it here. Is that what I wanted? Oh yeah, okay, so I, okay. It's gonna be a little uneven, but can I make it even? Three, one, yeah, okay, I can make it even. I just gotta break this one away. So basically we're putting 10 beds just to make sure that they actually breed and they can breed up to a certain amount which is eight other villagers. Which isn't exactly what we wanted, but it's close enough where I don't have any issues with it. Like, if I really wanted to, I could make all the villagers immediately go away, so then they breed infinite villagers, but I don't need that many. Um, so it's just not worth putting in all that effort for uh, and potential lag when I don't really need to do all that. Oh, I've, I've gone too, uh, went too far. There we go. 
kind of done everything we wanted to do today. I like keeping these a little short, because, like I said, I can tell, like, people don't like this series as much as I do, and that's fine. I just, I like playing, and I want to keep playing regardless. But, um, you know, I also, I, I want to do longer streams, but, um, I do, I like it. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I, I haven't, I've seen that these tend to do way worse views than other stuff, but I'm glad you, you're enjoying uh, I'll try to, I'll try to do some longer ones soon. The problem is also, um, like I said, I've, I had to ask for an extension for a class, uh, again. And I also just, I'm trying to get this video out by Wednesday. Um, and like, I don't mind not posting it this Wednesday, but if I could, I'd rather get it out. Just cause it's been a while since my last upload. I want to have some consistency. So, um, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to work on that. Cause, um, if I'm able to get through, like, that rough patch of work, then I can keep doing longer streams and stuff. But until then, I kind of do need to make these a little shorter, just so that I can, like, get around to my own work. Uh, let's kill some of these guys. I think that I'm pretty sure that if I kill them and they don't have a chance to- and no one sees or anything, that's fine. Hmm. Do we want to risk it? I- I don't know. I- I don't think it should be too bad. Okay. That guy's dead. Now let's check on, on this guy. And see if his trades are worse. Oh, he doesn't even have trades. I usually just burn them. See, I normally do too. But I currently don't have, uh, lava. Let's just make sure you can't escape. S any last words? No? Okay. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Uh, let's check on the trades with the guys that are in here, because I think the, some of them have trades. Um, let me just check. Do you have anything? I can't even reach him. Oh my gosh. Might have to, like, break some blocks just to get to him. Okay, nothing worse. That's fine. Just, it's just normal. Which means we can keep killing all these uh, villagers. And it'll just make the supply of villagers that come in even faster. What we should also do is break this bed. It might get in the way. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing to have the bed there. Because it just means another villager will spawn. But I'd prefer not to have outside factors that will affect our... Um, process hey bud I'm gonna drop in from the ceiling so that you don't have a chance to escape okay I'm sorry I'm sorry I'd prefer not to oh crap I didn't even realize this was in here uh, I think we already have pumpkins and potatoes but the emeralds are nice yeah this music's kind of weird I feel like the Minecraft music, some of it is very weird. I'm not used to it. Those are dead. There's going to be some more over here, which we have to take out. And then after that, this place is basically good. Then we can put all these potatoes and stuff into... Because we already have a farm back at the other... Uh, at our actual main base. So we can put all these potatoes that are here into the breeder. We can try to start breeding them. And hopefully, we'll be good to go. And then at that point, uh, I think that's when we potentially end. I would like to do more stuff, but I think uh, if I want to get around to everything else I gotta get done, I'll just need to end and get some rest. Can I trade with you? Do you have anything? No. Okay. Goodbye. Thanks for playing. I'll take the bread. I'm not gonna say no to some free food. Uh, okay, let's keep going. You know what, let's uh, feed them now just to make sure everything about the breeder is good. I haven't messed up, I haven't put in a villager that can't like create villagers for some reason. I know that, I think nitwits can't breed, right? Isn't that a thing? There we go. 
Is that a thing that nitwits can't breed, or am I making that up? I might be making that up. Put this in there. Actually, uh, I can put the bread in there too. Just click a bunch. And they're breeding. I can hear them breeding. Pop out a child. Do it. Do they do it? No, not yet. I'm watching you. Can we get a successful child in here? Come on, guys. What are you doing? Do we do it? Oh, we did. I think we did. And if I just click... Oh, you know what? I can break these away. I don't need these blocks here. I just click this child. To this button, I mean. Oh, there's two of them. Yo, look at that. Didn't even realize. And there's a third incoming. That's exactly what we like to see. Look at that, boys. So they'll all just pile up here, and that's all we need. And then... I just get rid of all the other uh, outside factors that are messing with us, which I can do right now. And then we can literally just put them straight into a minecart and yoink them to wherever we need to take them. So if we need to make an iron farm, if we need to do anything, there's a very simple way to do it. Hey, I'm busting in to kill you. Thank you for your service. Uh... These wood blocks are just clogging up my inventory for no reason. Yo, Ellie, thank you for the raid. Thank you, bro. Welcome, guys. All right, hit the gritty. I can't hit the gritty. I can do this. Pickaxe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, look at that. I'm hitting the gritty, baby. <laughs> what's up, Cab? What's up? Uh, what's up, Sloth? How you doing? First time chat from a raider. Wow. Hi, Loser Pepper. Can't stay too long, my G, but hi. Yo, welcome, Zen. I see how it is. You can stay for Ellie's stream, but you can't stay for mine. No, I see how it is. I see who who, you, who your favorite uh, chat to mod in is. I see. I understand. <laughs> What's up, Crimson Cat Eye? How are you guys doing? That was a good gritty. Thank you. Thank you, Cap. Um, we were... How was the Fall Guys stream? Actually, Zen can stay for a while. Wow, Cap. Thanks for giving her permission. Damn. Um... <laughs> And me, Krimi. Oh, it's Krimi. What's up, Krimi? How you doing, bro? Um, yeah, we just built a little villager breeder. Um, and we've kind of, like, started up an iron farm. If you guys like Minecraft, I do this every Monday. Uh, I'm Gucci. Hell yeah, bro. Glad you're doing well. Uh, I hope Fall Guys went well. Did Ellie get any wins or anything? I, I don't know. When I left, he hadn't won yet. Trash. Yay, Arya Minecraft. Whoa, I'm gonna be here every Monday. Yeah, dude. What's up, Vane? Welcome. I gotta go. Have a good rest of your stream. Yo, uh, Slot, thanks for hopping in. Thanks for, uh, joining the raid. Take care, bro. Um, he did win? Oh, good job, Ellie. Um, yeah, I, I do Minecraft every Monday. Uh, it's, it, we call it the Rat, Rat SSP. He won 10 times after you lost. I think that's a lie. I don't think that's true. I think you, he told you to say that. Hydrate. Thanks, Val. I'll drink some water. Also, are you a pog? I just have to do something important. Yeah, yeah, no worries about it, bro. I'm messing with you. I'm pulling your leg. Um, I saw at least four and I was late. There's no way he won that much. Are you serious? He had that good of a stream? There's no way. Why can't he be that good when I'm playing? What the heck? <laughs> That's crazy. That's awesome. Yeah, we are just... Uh, we just finished up the breeder. Um, I think... What we want to do next. I saw two of the last three games I joined. Dude, what the heck? There was one final round that took 10 minutes. What was he playing? Do you know? What, do you know which final round it was? That's crazy. I just want to get rid of this wall that I know that I have. Oh, I have 10 on me. Okay, never mind. Um, It was a jumpy one. Thanks. Jump showdown. Went on for so long. Dang, dude. Apparently, you won 10 games while I was gone. I guess I should stop showing up to your streams as much. Because, uh... Did the cows despawn? Oh, Do cows really despawn? I didn't think they did that. Unless there was just a hole that they could get out of, but... I thought the whole point of farm animals was that they couldn't despawn. Who said 10? They need to learn to count? How many was it? 
<laughs> Take it personally. Now, how many do you actually win? Cows shouldn't despawn if they're trapped. Yeah, I didn't think so. Ellie, you paid me to say 10. Wow, I knew it. Four, I think. Okay, okay, okay. I was about to say, if you won 10 while I was gone, that's crazy, bro. I've never seen you be that good at any game ever, or anything, really. I'm proud of you, bro. Proud of you for the four wins. I, uh... I played two games yesterday, and I won one of them. Chat isn't flooded with my name anymore, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. People, uh... People don't really show up to Minecraft streams as much, so it's kind of just a chiller, quieter experience. Which I'm fine with. I like- I still like playing Minecraft, so... I just do it. That didn't get me. Sorry, sorry Jazz. Shouldn't have done it while I was looking at chat. That is, uh, your fault. Let's use up these eggs. Um, oops. Wait, you can double- You can double click in this game? What the heck? Wow, I didn't know you could do that. Okay, okay, cool. Anyway. Didn't work that time. What the heck? Okay, I can only do it sometimes, apparently. Uh, we're gonna use up all these eggs over here. Create more stock for the eggs. Oops. I feel like we have enough chickens. I don't think we need to use all the eggs. But... I think we're looking pretty good, boys. So today, we have flattened that and like that the top of that mountain. So we're gonna use uh Bannon in-game action. Hmm, what if I say W? I'm on a controller. I can I i I'm not using W. <laughs> I excited that wasn't on purpose. Hang on, I'll give you your points back. Um for some reason, uh I think if you're on mobile, it just keeps using people's points for no reason. It's very, very frustrating because a lot of my rewards I can't give you guys back, but this I can give you back. So there you go. There are your points back. Thank you for trying. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I forgot. No, don't worry about it. I think it's just a mobile thing. It's literally not your fault. It's a mobile fault. Um, Hang on. I will show you guys everything we did today because we are going to end soon. I appreciate the raid, but I'm tired, boys. And uh, we're going to do longer streams soon. This week is a little bit difficult because, first of all, I don't know what streams I'm even doing because I don't know who's available for what or... Any of that stuff. Because I doubt Ellie's available Thursday. So I might do a solo stream Thursday. Oh, you guys are just chilling, huh? Um, I freaking hate these wandering traders, dude. Do you have anything fun to sell? I doubt it. Cool, a fern for an emerald. Yeah, because I'm going to buy that. Moss block. And yeah, okay, nothing. Um, No, but you better get a good rest. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll be back. T uh, I don't know about tomorrow. I got to decide. I'll be back. Wednesday with something. I don't know what yet because uh, it depends on if my group decides to do anything or if I'm doing something solo. But um, I'll be back Wednesday with something. Uh, it'll either be at 8 or 9 depending on who's available and what we're doing. Um, and then Thursday, again, we'll have to see. I doubt Ellie's going to be free, so I'll try to do something solo. Um, so here's what we did. We flattened this entire place. So this will be an iron farm uh, when we get here. I usually put traders in a hole, dump sand on them, then keep the llamas. Yeah, I normally just kill everything. Kill the llamas, kill the traders, because llamas give uh, leather. The sheep here, I feel like they're going to just despawn if I try to steal them. But um, So yeah, we built that. We're going to make an iron farm up there eventually. Um, we've also... I do the hard way, I kill them, yeah. Uh, we also built this sheep uh, emporium, basically. So all 16 flavors of sheep will be here at some point. Uh, we got grass making its way over here. It's a giant place. So it's going to take a while for all this to turn into grass. But eventually it will. If we get silk touch, we'll speed it up along the way. Um, so we did that. Then we checked on our villagers over there. The trading hall is... It's got like seven villagers there. So we took most of their beds. We're going to... We brought them to the trading... Uh, the... What do you call it? The... um. The, the villager breeder that's over there now. So that villager breeder will eventually transport villagers over there. And that will be our trading hall because I like the tundra. Um, and we also have this buck guy just sitting here. We don't know yet where pillager spawns. We'll have to wait and see. 
But eventually we'll turn this into a thing whenever we get a trident because that's the that's the biggest resource that we need for the um, raid farm other than that I think you know the games got a little bit of sunset and I think that means we end the stream so uh, that's about it I mean thank you guys so much for watching YouTube I'm gonna send you off uh, take care much love I'll see you guys in a future uh, stream hopefully soon um, watch the video that comes out either this Wednesday or next Wednesday we'll see goodbye take care